Hey everybody, DeLongstrat Signatures here. This is episode 197 of my TTM Returns. I got in three successes to end this week. Uh, first one here is from a former college football coach. Unfortunately, this one uh, smeared pretty bad, but I uh, got a one-of-one one return in 14 days from former coach Carl Polker. So there's the front of the photo, and then he signed on the back. Nearly all of it came off other than some ink residue um, that, you know, stuck on afterwards. Most of it's on the inside of the envelope. I could tell that as soon as I opened it. Um, so I might start including a note asking them not to sign on the back because for whatever reason, the back of the Snapfish photos, uh, especially more recently, just don't take ink very well. And... Uh, it looks like this might have been a case of him just putting it back in the return envelope too quickly, but still, I've just been having too much bad luck with that, so I'll have to start letting them know going forward. But regardless, still a really nice return from a former head coach. Um, he coached, I think it was Milliken and McKendry, uh, both of those for about 15 years each, so over 30 years of coaching experience, uh, won over 200 games in his career. So really, really nice to add him to the collection. Just stinks with how it came out. Not his fault, though. Uh, next one is coming back from a former MLB player. He is... I don't have it pulled up anymore. Um, but he's one of the oldest living players still alive. He was born in 1928. So this is a one-of-one one return in 14 days from Bob Oldis. He didn't play too much uh, Major League Baseball he played just kind of handful of games each season, but he was part of the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates championship winning team, uh, World Series team. That's the correct term for it. Um, but yeah, born in 1928. Uh, I can't do math right now. I don't. I don't want to figure out how old that makes him. Uh, but he's one of the oldest living players still around. Uh, he signs for free. Um, can be really really hard to find good photos of these guys, but this one was pretty cool looking. So sent that off, and in two weeks, got it back. Last one here is a college basketball player return. Yesterday, I got a women's basketball player. Today, I get a men's basketball player. So this is a two-of-two two success, plus a note from Texas player Dylan Mitchell. So he signed both of the photos that I sent in silver. And then I don't know if this note is written from him, uh, considering, I, I don't want to judge, but like it, the handwriting is really, really nice. It might be from someone who represents him, but it could be his. But he included a nice Texas Longhorns basketball note. Um, Continue to chase your dreams and never give up. The secret is in the dirt. I don't know if that's a Texas Longhorns saying or if that's something, you know, that he's been coached Um at a different level, maybe high school or something to say. But uh, regardless, really, really cool to get him. He's a, He was a five-star player coming out of high school. Uh, ended up signing with Texas. Um, he'll play there this season. I think they're three games in already. Hasn't been super impressive, but, uh, you know, just, just got there. And they still have quite a few games to go through. So he could definitely improve there. But, um... Scouts really like what they see, what he's capable of, what his potential is, and uh, I think right now they have him projected as a top ten pick. I don't, I don't know if it if that'll be the case or if he'll maybe he'll stay another season. But regardless, really really cool to get an active uh, college basketball player. Only sent to a handful. I'll probably try and send to some more here soon. Um, I just kind of wanted to, you know, um, get my feet in the water. For a couple different sports that have been starting up or uh, all that stuff. So that is it for this week. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.